Greetings everyone. This is our course how to design a test blueprint, group 4, track 2. For the first week, this is our lecture. The outcomes of this week will be to define the blueprints and its importance in assessments and to know the benefits of the blueprint. As we have all known, from the previous courses about what is assessment and how it's needed to be programmatic manner done in order to have a very good evaluation of the course. It's said that assessment is the tail that wags the curriculum dogs. While this statement will imply underscores the importance of assessment in any system of education, it also cautions us about the pitfalls that can occur when assessment is improperly used. Moreover, this can happen because in traditional assessment system in most medical college question paper is set by one teacher or examiner and the practical examination are conducted by some other teacher without any coordination and are not aligned to objectives together. Also, Teachers and students tend to approach their tasks from different perspectives. If we look for the teacher perspective, he focuses on the outcomes and the content, while the student focuses on the assessment itself. So, the teacher perspective are objectives, are low teaching activity and assessment, whereas the student perspective, assessment, learning activity and outcome. We can see there is a mismatch between outcomes and assessment causes confusion for everyone in the teaching and learning enterprise. These are common questions or common comments that we have from most of our students that the exams was too vague, what to write, what to cut, too lengthy, uh, if the, all the questions are few on some systems and others are not from long outcomes were, were uh, balanced. These are our, our students' comments mostly. If you look for the curriculum alignment, the curriculum is designed so that the learning activities and assessment tasks are clearly related to the ILOs. Also, too often assessment tasks are not related to stated outcome, not valid for the outcome or in concurrent with the teaching methods. So, so, we can say that validity is a requirement for every assessment, implies that candidates for achieving the minimum performance level have acquired the level of competence set and outcome in the learning objectives. Content validity is the validity that relates to the measurement of academic achievement. The valid content of assessment is concurrent with objectives and learning experience and congruence with between the pillars of education can be facilitated by using blueprinting as in assessment and this is where our blueprinting journey starts. In our blueprinting journey we will have four pillars the definition, the benefit, the step, and the evaluation. For the first weeks, we'll only be having the definitions and the benefits, and then the steps and the evaluation will be for the next week. What is a blueprint? A blueprint is defined as a complete plan that explains how to do or develop something. A test blueprint is a grid that allows examiners to generate content valid exam by linking the required subject's content and competence to the items appearing on the test. This is a sample of a blueprint frame. Next week we will be able to create one of those blueprint frames. A test blueprint contains a list of key components defining your test it includes 
The purpose of the test, the content framework, the testing time, the competent weighting, weighing, uh, a number of items per content, the items format. There are three types of blueprinting, content-oriented blueprints, or process-oriented test blueprints, or content-by-process matrix. For our next step, this will be the benefits from the blueprint. What do we gain from having an assessment blueprint? Number one, it helps to match variable contents with the course content and the appropriate modality of assessment. Blueprint ensures that questions being asked in examination are aligned with objectives. Blueprints ensure that there is no question that are out of syllabus. Blueprints makes assessment fair to the students. Blueprint design the instructional strategies. Blueprint also um, ensures that the selected test item provide appropriate emphasis on thinking skills and assessment in depth knowledge. Blueprints at the end aligns content competencies and tools for the assessment in a rational and balanced manner. In general, the aim of blueprinting is to reduce two major threats to validity. The first threat is the construct under representation, which refers to sampling or bias sampling of the content domain or the course content. They may be too few items to sample domain adequately. The other, uh, the other main threat is the construct irrelevance variance, which is a systematic error introduced into assessment data by the unrelated variable. This means inclusion of a fluid items format, too easy or too difficult question or examiner bias. For example, tendency to test favorite or hot or trivial topics. Thank you very much. We work as a team and you hope you have enjoyed our lecture. Thank you.